Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another edition of Storm Maverick Teaches Music. I am Storm Maverick of course. I'm going to introduce you to FL Studio 11. Uh, I was working on something, just messing around, you know, to put things together to teach you on how to use this. Uh, we're going to go through all of this first, so let's take everything off the screen. Look, we can all come back. So we, we do that, and we can take some of this stuff off. Okay, let's start off with this. Um, I think we want to start off with this actually, and this is how this goes. Right here, you got um, all these effects that you and generators that are in the dashboard. Usually, you don't want to even look at this because you could get everything through here. What you want to look at, though, however, is packs. You know, uh, if you have files you put underneath there, or just look up the instruments right there. Um, you got drums, you got all your cymbals, your hats, your kicks, which is the bass drum, and all of that. Point it along your drums so you know what these sound like. Um, you got other other type of drums, dance claps. Dance is pretty good if you're do EDM. Um, so you got FPC, which which is pretty good too. FPCs with the drums. So th that's pretty good too. Um, and all that. So this is really nice. Uh, for those that are into mixing, you, they do have a dB meter. Uh, I was testing something out earlier. And by the way, this right here is a mixer. Now we're going to get into this right quick. This is a mixer. I have... Uh, a synthesizer asset 4 on channel 10 um, and I can not only equalize it um, if I wanted to I could add in reverb here and which by the way you click on this thing right here and uh, you go to presets or replace and that pops up or if you open up a new one uh, you just click it and boom there you go with EQ stands for equalizers. You got two of them. I love EQ number two, reverb two, and fruity multi-band compressor is what I love to use. Um, for usually you want to compress fruity multi-band compressor, um, equalize fruity parametric EQ two, and sometimes use reverb fruity reverb two, depending on what effect you want to have on the song. Um, this is what it sounds like. Uh, let's open up this thing, which is where you compose the music. Uh, click on all there from here, and you can see everything there. Drum pattern I put, including that right now. Um, you see how the synthesizer sounds without anything? Oops, that's something else. Oh, well, let me show you that while you heard that. Um, you can drag files that you put onto here. Um, what you do is... Uh, Right here, you go to desktop, computer, then A series or C drive, basically program files, image line, FL Studio 11 data, and patches to get to uh, make your own folder here to have those right there. You see all this right here? But well, look at this. All that is right over here. So uh, that's pretty cool. And you can drag anything and put it there. As well as you have that right there. So, uh, see how that works? You know, you just, uh, you can drag an instrumental, boom, right there. So that's how that works. Now that you see how that works, and that, oh yeah, and this. Oh, let's not forget piano roll, which you could click on that, and then click here, and then click on an instrument. Or the easiest way to do it, um, go ahead and go to all, and then you could click on this, and then right click like that, and then it would take you here for you to edit. So you go down, you could compose the song. So that works too. Um, and here's what it sounds like uh, without anything. Then I put some compressor to it, 
which is this thing. And I, then I decided to equalize it up, which is this thing. And here's how it sounds. Which sounded good to this beat I made right over here. And by the way, if you want to make a new pattern, you just click on this thing and it will pop up. Um, and you could come over here when you want to line up stuff. Let's say you want to line up that pattern, you produce something, you can line up right there as well as uh, the thing I made already right here. And then you can line, make something over here and have it on top of the other thing. Um, I'm going to show you how that works. Let me just cut this off, put it into here, the second pattern I just made, edit, paste, and boom. I mean, look, I click on song and... We shall show you how to work all that in the future um, with more other FL Studio 11 things because this is the most complicated of all the stuff I could teach you. But uh, there you go. That's how that works. So uh, right now, I think you just got everything. Uh, let's go ahead and take everything off out of those five things I just showed you. And a quick review. These are presets um, right here that you can get off of the uh, soundboard. Uh, usually, you always want to use your compressor. You always want to use your multi-band. You always want to use your dB meter. I uh, forgot to show you that. Uh, right here, I have it on minus 12, 6. But the drums, though, however, I have each one on 12. So, usually that's what I do. I put the drums on minus 12 and all the synthesizers on minus 6. Unless it's a bass synthesizer, it would be on minus 12. Because I like to lower the bass and the drums lower than the synths. And that's how I got the mix that I got that sounds like this. So, okay, there's your reverb right there. And all those effects that you can get off of uh, this soundboard right over here. So, you know, you, on your masters, you put your dB meter there. And on each separate thing and channel... With you put something in, you multi-band it, equalize it, or put reverb, depending on what you want to do to it. I have reverb muted. I didn't even use reverb, but I did use the equalizer and the and compressor. And these are the three ones I would mainly use. Fruity multi-band compressor, Fruity parametric EQ2, and Fruity reverb 2. Uh, to This second one here on the right. You could pick your instrument or pick stuff you save to line it up later. Um, you got the piano roll where you can compose stuff on this middle one here. Or you can right click and piano roll and then it pop up for you to compose something. Over here is that. You can also compose your drums on it. And then you have this thing which is to line up your patterns. Uh, pattern 2 looks like to me is the Oh, just the synthesizer here and pattern one. I click right here and pattern one that I named XOXOX is the drums. That's the kick I like to use. It could kick. That's the clap I like to use. DNC clap six and the 808. Um, and I can show you where I got those. The hats right here. That's the 808 right here. Oh, oops, the closed cl hat, not the open hat. Um, then you got your. Dance clap, I used six, which is that right there. And then I used uh, for the bass, uh, we go right into kicks over here. And anyway, it kicks good, but I like the kick kick with that high bass. So it sounds like this. And then all together, or in the sense, it sounds like this with all the editing I did. And all together. I just lined them up and then I can do a different part of the song later like a verse and a chorus but like a hook right here to begin a song it sounds like this and if I want to really be fancy with it I go uh, eight well that many stanzas with it the first half I'm gonna take this off so the first eight stanzas just the 
Well, no, let's not do it that way. Let's do it the other way around. First eight stances, descents, and then the jumps kick in later. And it sounds like this. You don't even want to do that. Let's just add that in. Let's just do it that way. Four stanzas with synths, four stanzas with drums. And there you go, that's how you SFL Studio. And it's up to you where you put your patterns that you make up over here, the line up over there, whether it's one on top of each other, or lined up like this. Songs go like this. If this is a part you need to work on, like uh, something sounds bad on stanza 29, just, you know, you fix it right here, and then you go through the song left to right again. So, that's how that works. So now that you know how to use FL Studio 11, I will be back. And oh yeah, look, the tempo I used was 100 too, and that's how you adjust your tempo. I could go do 130 with this, or I could go 90, or even 80. You see how that changes? But the tempo I picked for that is exactly 100. So there you go with the tempo right there. And patterns, you can easily adjust a pattern like this by scrolling up and down. So that works like that too. Anyways, thank you for watching. Now you know how to use FL Studio 11. I will come back to produce music with you, teach you how to use the multi-band compressor, the equalizer, and reverb, and other stuff like that. Uh, but that's your introduction to FL Studio 11. Have a great day.